Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. I have von Hippolindo, a rare disease that causes tumors to grow in different parts of the body. NIH, the National Institutes of Health, checked my eyes for tumors in May of 2021 and recommended laser surgery. In September of 2021, I went to an eye clinic in Seattle to have my eyes checked again to see how the tumors have grown. Hi, this is I, and in a shocking turn of events, we are on our way to the doctor's office. I have an appointment today to have my eyes looked at. Back at NIH, they said that I needed to have my eye lasered, where I'd had it lasered before that the tumor was starting to grow back. So I'm going to decide if the clinic here agrees and if I need to have a laser today. I don't really want to be lasered, but we'll see. Here, my eyes are very dilated. So I saw the fellow and he did not see anything that needed to be lasered. He didn't see really any change between my images last October and now. Hi. Well, you are a pro at this, <laughs> but they had seen some areas of concern back then. They're gonna be subtle, which is good because they're hardly showing up on these photos. So I'll have to take a look at the microscope. Subtle is good. And it sounds like you've only ever had laser or treatment to the left eye. Yep. Never had anything in the right eye. No. So, uh, I, I see what he's seeing. There's really just one area that probably is active. Um, and that's within the scar. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still very, very early. And the laser treatment should be very slick, simple and quick. And then there's this other spot which is very, very small. The one by my eyelashes, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know that it's an active lesion, so this is where that dye test is helpful because oh. you would see it. Yeah. But technically have to take care of them right now. You could keep an eye on them without laser or we could just put some laser on them both. And I, just want to I, I think this is a precautionary treatment okay. in both situations. Great. Wife or girlfriend, whoever it was that was with him. 
twice. First time, I thought, that looks like Zach Shepard. I looked right at him. He looked at me and then looked away, like, as if not to draw attention to himself. I'm like, oh, that's weird. That guy looks just like Zach Shepard. Well, he's a very distinctive looking person and he's very tall. Oh. Because I'm 6'1". Yeah. And uh, he was at least as tall as I am, if not taller. I think he was actually taller. He's not a run-of-the-mill white guy, right? He, he, Jack Shepard's an instinctive-looking person. That's why I was like, you know, I don't, re I wouldn't recognize most celebrities probably because I don't pay that much attention. But it was definitely him. I was like, and I didn't at the time. It's like oh, that guy. I know that dude. That guy that started. Uh, you know, I didn't figure out who it was. Oh, that's the time. 